Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Today we're going to show how Satan is playing the world and making everybody mad and distracted. Just as there was this one individual that did this terrible shooting at this school in Florida, killing up to 17 people with his assault rifle. A mad student who had been expelled and now people are going on and on about gun control and people are you know marching on Washington and Tallahassee and and confronting the government and all people are arguing for the guns and against the guns these are all signs of Satan dividing us just as you can see here on the cover of the Illuminati card game see the Satan character right up here representing when the fifth angel has the key to open the abyss just as when Satan stood at the top of the temple and offered Jesus any of the kingdoms of the world he's running everything this clown mask is not meant to be funny it represents he can be anybody it's a mask it's makeup mutual assured distraction destruction and then he makes everyone M-A-D mad See how everyone's mad? See like this guy's mad and the flu epidemic and the so-called cure and then called the time of the idol worship. In the Bible this is when the woman is granted the wings of a great eagle just as we had the eagles win the Super Bowl. We're going to go show this at that school and then we're going to go over and show it represents the burdens of Egypt. And that all of this, even people getting mad about the guns, is part of Satan's plan. See, everybody's distracted. People aren't going to school. People are marching on Washington. Nobody's noticing what Russia and North Korea is doing now. And it, he's going after the children. Let's track this down. Revelation 12, the dragon Satan will rise. He has seven heads and ten horns. And he will go after the woman and after the children. See the child? There was flooding in Montecito, and this maps out that area also. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as the flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away. In Montecito, California, there was this flooding, and it maps out the Satan character coming. And then Satan will go after the seed of the woman. He will go after the children. We are in the middle of this right now. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. He attacks the schools. We show how this is not a little bit done. The whole, wor whole world, the whole universe is made by God and these things are shown everywhere. This is your Satan character, a spirit, like a smoke. He can inhabit people and control people like puppets. This is Montecito where the flooding was. You can literally see the Satan character right here sitting at the feet of the woman. Do you see the woman? See like the Mount of Olives? See Our Lady? The Lady? Do you see Satan sitting right there? He, he drinks from her. He, he's like a smoke beast. He drinks to torment and everything. And it says he will sit there waiting to go after the children. The dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child. Now he's gone after the children, and all the kids have gone crazy and are now going mad. Everyone's mad. M-A-D. There. And then will come the time of these rats, which represents disease rising. When all of the horsemen rise. See the rats? He goes after the woman, the gates are opened, the rats are released, basically. See all that? So let's go down to the school where this was and show this again. And then we will show this at the over in Egypt and show that it represents our burden. Exactly as when Moses had to come out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. 
This is where the school is. See the Stone Man Douglas High School? It even has a lot to do with the stone that builders rejected, then the stone will go to heaven. And it has a lot to do with Russia being involved also, controlling many things, just as we have a lot of problems with President Trump and his affiliations with Russia. Right here you can see the clown going after the children. There he is. See him right there? This boot represents when Jesus Christ kicks him out and bruises his heel and the grievous head wound will happen. There's going to be a head wound event, whatever that is. Do you see him right there? There he is. See the clown? And that boot represents Jesus Christ having the boot on his head because it talks of that's when he will bruise Satan's head just as the, the shooter was caught. He came out, he came with his gun, he shot up, and then he was caught. The devil has but a short time. See? Trails end. And then you will see that the bear, the Russian bear and all, is involved. See there? The Russian bear going after the children. See it all right there? There's where the children are. The bear represents one of the seven heads of the beast. And his feet were as the feet of a bear. See him right there? the beast that is rising, the dragon, Satan, Vladimir Putin, and Donald Trump, and Obama have all been involved in this. See there? And now they will play the other card, as they say. They will cause the chaos, and then they will come in to supposedly bring order, taking your guns away, putting Big Brother in charge, putting more cameras on everyone, leading up to the mark of the beast. See how it's playing right into the hands? And all of the children actually protesting are, they're calling and wanting a big brother nation now. See, take our guns away. Put the police in more charge. Bring about the mark of the beast. Maybe the mark of the beast will save everyone and stop terrorism. No, it's all part of the plan. So now let's take this beast and go show him mapped out in Egypt, because it represents the burdens of Egypt. You have to remember, from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. It all comes back to Egypt and the pyramids, and what's trapped under them. And Jesus Christ can save us. This is Egypt, Cairo. We're going to show the mother figure. She is here on the earth. She is laying right here, and there is a big ark sitting on top of her, ready to launch for when all of the souls are born. There's mom and the ark right there. This is the mother figure, just as we showed. See her sitting here? She actually has her hand on a button for when the devil comes after her, she starts a great earthquake. Because it's talked of in the Bible that when the devil comes after her, there's going to be a worldwide shattering earthquake for what's called the birth. The serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood, and then the earthquake. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. There's mom. She's got her hand on the button ready. This is the ark for Jesus Christ as we are born. Exactly as when Moses crossed the Red Sea. See all that right there? See it all mapped out perfectly. And then you can see the giant Satan character sitting at her feet. Looking exactly like this clown. Like a big red bull. See his hair out to the side? There he is. And you can see him, right? here. There he is. How is this done? It's just done, guys. These guys are floating around all over us, on top of us, like giant clouds and things, controlling humanity like puppets. It says he will sit at her feet, ready to consume her. There it all is. Don't get scared about these things. Realize that this proves that Jesus Christ is the only way. 
There is the Satan character sitting at her feet, ready to eat her, exactly like we showed in Montecito. In detective work, this is proven. We've shown three examples of this, just as in the Bible. You need one, two, and three witnesses, or three examples to prove a case. There's the ark for your souls for when you're born. See the mother? And there's the Satan character sitting at her feet, trying to consume her and trying to consume all of the children that are ready to be born. So there it all is right there. Look how perfect that is. Everything. That's the devil. Right there. See him? And this is who the world elite worship because he sits at the top of the temple and he can grant them anything. He can make you president of the USA. He can make you the king in Saudi Arabia. He can make Vladimir Putin the third or fourth time president. He's controlling everything from the top of the temple. The temptation of Jesus by Satan. And he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto them, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. See there? And he offers him all the kingdoms of the world top of the temple right there there he is so just know it's all real and God great don't have any fear we will win see there's an ark for your soul confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved hallelujah and God great give all glory to the Lord God Jehovah our Father and I'll see all of you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Jesus has wiped all of our sins away. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. And that's why people are going to be getting mad. It's not just the shooting. Now people will be mad and get try to... They'll be marching on Washington. They'll be stopping schools. Everybody's distracted. Not realizing that Satan will just get another puppet... And even if it's not a gun, he will drive a car over people. He will take a knife and stab people. He's violent. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Hallelujah.